What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This is Shorty Lin. Again, it's been ages since I posted my last video. Sorry for being so lazy. I almost feel very guilty when I tell other people I'm a YouTuber. And these days I prefer to call myself just as a business person. So, how are you doing? How have you been doing in the past few months and weeks? I've been doing okay. And lately I've been picking up some reading, you know, this book, Elon Musk written by Walter Isaacson, who is one of my favorite writers. I almost never read during the last few years because I got really busy with my work. If I read anything, it has to be something good. And I like to read the English version because I feel like talking to the writer himself. And also lately I got myself a flag made for my logo. So it is the logo with the, with the orange as the background which I try to mimic the color of the Bitcoin logo and on the back it is also the, uh, the Charlie Lin logo with the blue as a background. The blue color which is used in my business logo which is my company named Shenzhen. Okay, so with that being said, I really want to talk to you about something that's really serious. It concerns your money, so it couldn't be more serious, right? So just today, within the same hour, I found out two people that have been approached by impersonators of myself. It's a Facebook page, it's a scam page, okay? It's, a, it's using the same fake phone number. And you, you never know how these impersonators approach these clients. So you guys probably go to a Facebook group and you got added by this particular scammer. He, he got thousands or tens of thousands of followers and you think, oh, if you have such good fame, you must be the real Charlie Lane. Okay, I'm not that famous, by the way. In the past one to two months, I already got like four people that are telling me that they got scammed by that impersonator, by real money, at least for thousands of dollars. So that's really serious. So I hope anybody that's watching this video, you can help to spread the word but where are impersonators? But where are impersonators of myself, Charlie Lane, and also of everybody, like DJ Mines, Red Panda Mining, Voscoin, anybody, or just any Chinese vendor? Be careful, okay? If you want to contact a real person, a real company, go to his official profile, okay? Don't just go to go for some random post on Instagram or Facebook. Like, if you want to. No, because you could never receive an email from Tim at Apple.com or Steve at Apple.com. Only when you receive that kind of email from the official email domain name, then you can confirm my identity. So if you have never received an email from me, like charlie at bitshenzhen.com or info at bitshenzhen.com, that's not me. It's really simple. You just have to go to my YouTube profile and list all my contact information there. Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp number, my website. Okay, my website existed since 2016. So it's been seven years. Go to my webpage, find out my real official number and only use that my number, nothing else. It's really easy. If you wanna become a friend of Elon Musk, you don't just become his friend by getting approached by somebody who claims to be Elon Musk. So you have to go to Tesla company, like go into their webpage or go into their store saying, hey, I want to talk to Elon Musk, right? Elon Musk perhaps will never call you, will never email you or never add you on Facebook. It's really simple, okay? And the same rule works with everybody else. Whenever you get approached with business, be careful. Whenever you want to do some business, be careful with the person that you are dealing with, especially when you're making the first outreach. Okay, so that's pretty much about the scam alert. So in today's video, I just want to talk about a few miners, not all the models. I tried to cover all the models, all the brands in the past, and today I'm not gonna do that anymore. Because what's really selling in the market is really just a few brands, a few models, even just one or two models under the same brand. When you talk about iPhone, like everybody is buying this iPhone 14 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro, very few other models because we were talking about new products, isn't it? Today I want to talk to you just about a few models and one of them is S19K Pro and the KS3 under the brand Vent Miners. 
And of course, we also have to talk about Ice River just a little bit. And finally, I want to talk about immersion cooling. Okay, so starting with S19K Pro. So the S19K Pro is said to be a more proficient model than S19J Pro 120 terahash. And because of the market is churning out multiple deliveries for the S19K Pro, the price is getting really, really much favorable. And the price of the S19J Pro 120 terahash is getting down and down. It used to be a really popular model in the past. And when I was visiting a farm in America in Kentucky, the client said, told me he has a soft spot for the model of S19J Pro, particularly 120 Tash, and not on 117. Today, the reality has changed. A new baby has taken over his place. It's S19K Pro. It is more efficient. Well, of course, today the price is finally picking up once again because of the pumping over Bitcoin. And I remember reading a post by DJ Minds, he says, that is how he looked like when he sees a fake Bitcoin pump. So I hope that this is a real pump. It's getting to like $29,000 per Bitcoin. Okay, with that being said, I really want to talk about what's going to happen with Bitcoin. So I met with my immersion cooling supplier a few days ago. He told me that he has a client that has already gotten hold of uh, hundreds of Bitcoins. And that person, that client, is telling him the next pump the next peak of Bitcoin is going to be the only peak. It is going to be the highest value for the Bitcoin ever. So today, stack as many Bitcoins as you can. And when the next bull run comes, sell all your Bitcoins. Or maybe you can skip some of them, but that peak is going to be the only peak. <laughs> I'm not so sure if he's right, but you know, I hope that can serve as an idea. Or like, what do you think? You think the next peak is going to be the highest? Or you think there's could be higher, just higher with the passage of time, like 10 years after it's going to be even higher, like maybe $200,000. Anyway, I can see that everybody in the market, whether you're doing any sort of money or if you're just doing Bitcoin or cryptocurrency investment, everybody looks like they're preparing for the next bull run. Yes, that's exactly right. What's really selling in the market is forever just one model or even just two models. Okay, in the last bull run, like the top miner in the market was S19 Pro 110 terahash. And when the market became a little bit bearish, it became 104 terahash, S19J Pro. And when the market gets even more bearish, the most popular model became S19J Pro 120 terahash. And these few days, it's S19K Pro 120 terahash. And another reason why I'm not doing so many videos in the past few months and weeks is because I feel very bored with the market. I mean, the market is full of models, it's full of brands and models, or just too many models under the same brand, or just too many brands as, as a general. And we got hydro, we got immersion, we got air cooling, we got all types of solutions. We just don't lack technological solutions anymore for mining. We just need more people that come to buy the miners and start mining or keep mining. You know what I'm saying? I feel very bored with the market because it's full of models and brands. And another reason why I didn't do many videos was because people just keep coming to me, even when I'm not doing any videos at all. I don't know like, just people, how people found me, maybe by word of mouth or by some other YouTubers' suggestions or just by some YouTube algorithm. Just People just keep coming to me and I'm not really bragging and I don't feel good about it because I feel like I've become more content than before. Like I can get easily content with my life, with my business. In China, there is an idea of, like for the young people to like to keep fighting. In Chinese, we say fundo, keep fighting. You know, you keep fighting makes you feel young and makes you stay young. So I'm coming back to make videos because today I want to get rid of those scammers. I don't want to see more people getting scammed by the impersonators of myself. So at that's the S19K Pro 120 tire hash. And the price was going like, like, just keep going down, down, down. And only like today, like yesterday, it just finally just started to pick up again because the pump. Well, every time I'm telling you like, oh, this price is picking up again. But, but I can tell you in the past few years, the entire one year or two years, the price is always going down. I know those distributors, these manufacturers are going to tell you the best time to mine is now. Well, I don't know. I'm just telling you the fact is the price of the machines is just getting down and down forever. So 
What's really the catch here? The catch is to get cheap electricity. And I got inspired by hearing an example from my immersion cooling supplier. So I was visiting this immersion cooling supplier and with him, it was another client. So I was talking to him like, hey, what are you doing? And he was like, hey, I'm just doing some like heating solutions. I want to do some contribution to the society. But later I realized that he was up to some mining too. And I really feel inspired and feel excited about that because I always think like Bitcoin mining is just a waste of energy. Although you got some panel discussion, like always saying like, oh no, Bitcoin mining is bringing innovation to the electricity, to the power solutions. I don't believe that. But during that meeting, I realized that, oh, there really is some plus to Bitcoin mining. So the example with that guy is that he got some sort of subsidy from the government because he needed to power some remote area in the country. Because that remote area is really impoverished. They don't have a lot of money. And so it is a highway station. They need some heating in some really high altitude place. You can even breathe with high difficulty when you go to that place. So nobody wants to go there. So when they threw out that bidding for that heating project in that high attitude highway station, nobody answered. This fellow went to them, hey, I have a solution for you, but you guys need to fund me for the electricity. So that's how he got it. He got free electricity from the government and he's doing mining to make stack up bitcoins and he's offering heating to that highway station. It's a win-win situation. It's a win-win-win situation. The government got the problem solved. The highway station got the heating and he got the Bitcoin. Free money. It's the perfect world. So I got a lot of people approaching me asking me about, hey, Charlie, what is the best miner? Like what is the best brand? What is the best coin? What is the best miner to buy? Maybe none of that is as important as power solutions. If you're having like crazy rate for electricity, if you're like paying too much for electricity, your mining is just going to be doomed. Unless the Bitcoin just keeps going up and up like to $100,000, you're never gonna get your money back. You're only going to be just somebody like, you know, mining Bitcoin like for the community and you don't get too much reward. So before we talk about anything like which miner to buy, think about your power solutions. Think about if you can make your ends meet. Well, I know for miners, what's really coming out from the Bitcoin as cash it's not important, it's how much Bitcoin they can have. And I met with a distributor here in China, here in Shenzhen, and he's getting like hundreds of miners getting mined in Russia. And he says he's paying like, like tens of thousands of US dollars for electricity, but and he's only getting like half coin or one coin. Well, he's definitely not feeling sad about that, but he's definitely not feeling happy about it because he's just exchanging his cash for Bitcoin and for hash power. Okay, also we have to talk about a very important miner, it's S21. It is going to be like hashing at 200 terahash per second. So it is a miner launched by in Hong Kong and the World Digital Mining Summit, WDMS Hong Kong. And I wasn't there because I got some sort of like crazy travel restrictions because of some crazy paperwork issues. And I got really frustrated with that because I went everywhere in the world, like in Europe, Middle East, Southeast Asia, America, but I got stuck in China. I could not even go to Hong Kong, which is supposed to be part of China. That's crazy. Everybody's going there, all those distributors, all those sales girls, sales boys, all these clients, miners, minor resellers, manufacturers, they're all going to Hong Kong and I wasn't there. Everybody was sort of looking for me. Hey, Charlie, where are you? Anyway, this S21 Ant Miner 200 terahash for air cooling is really interesting. Okay, and everybody wants to get hold of them. However, the MOQ is really high. The MOQ is like thousands from the manufacturer and hundreds from the distributors. Like today, if you go to any seller asking for the S21, they're gonna tell you, hey, you have to buy 105, 110 miners. Otherwise, they're not gonna give you anything. But you can pay just uh, like 50% as a deposit and you can pay balance when the delivery is ready. Okay, when the bitmate is asking the distributors to pay, the distributors will ask you to pay. Will you be happy about it? I personally don't think ordering the futures is that a good idea. Because with the futures orders, there's always problems like delayed shipping, like very demanding payment requirements. And sometimes you get called a scammer because, you know, the manufacturer is not delivering on time. And you know, the distributors, they are getting a lot of orders from the manufacturers. They can even get some spot orders under themselves. And they're only going to give your futures like 
according to how fast the manufacturer that can deliver to you. They're not going to give their spot orders to you when their spot orders are ready. They're going to sell the spot orders to other people even when it is at a less price. Okay, so you bought a higher price for some futures and you waited for so long. Okay, you got money with other people and it's not doing anything. And when the miner turns spot, the price is getting lower. How absurd is that? So that is exactly the big risk I talk about when it comes to ordering futures miners. So keep in mind this risk when you want to buy some of those futures, like even those Casper miners for Ice River, like Ed miners. <laughs> all of the prices for the Casper, like big miners, like very powerful miners, they all crash when it turns spot. How regretful people can become because, you know, they're supposed to earn the reward because, you know, they, they are the early investors. It's like just like some of those investors in Tesla. Well, I'm not saying like investors of Tesla stocks, but those people who bought Tesla in the beginning, you know, at crazy prices in the beginning, but later when the Tesla becomes mass produced, the price of the Tesla is getting less and less. So in China, we just call these people, they are leaks that are cut by other people. Their investments are harvested on. I don't know what is the best term in English to say the same thing, but maybe getting rucked, you know, it like can express the similar meaning like you're getting rucked. <laughs> So if you don't want to get rugged, don't order the futures. The same thing happened with all the miners like KA3, KS3, and this time it comes to S21. But what's really interesting with S21 is that there's no such a model as S20. You know, it skipped the model of S20. It's like the iPhone, they skipped the iPhone 9, you know, <laughs> we just had the iPhone 8, and then there's no iPhone 9, we just had the iPhone 10, which is the iPhone X. I forgot the reason why they made it that way, but this is how Bitman does it. They, we didn't have the S20, we just jumped from S19 to S20. They may make it look like it's a tremendous progress from S19, you know, to the next model. And also in the website of Bitman, we realized that the price has come up as compared to with the last time when they released the model. And the last time they released the model, the price was like 14 US dollars per terahash after the coupons were used. But this time it's like become like some sort of like $20 per terahash after the coupons. Okay, so it really means the price could become higher. But of course, we know that it's really difficult for the distributors to resell the, those models because the MQ is really high and the price is not good. I mean, the $14 price is really good, but the $20 is really high. Okay, so if you want to order some of those S21, I may have a solution for you because I got a contact. His client ordered thousands of S21, 200 terahash air cooling and immersion cooled. The client wanted to build a farm for those S21, but after immersion cooling units were used, right now they may have some spare units, like hundreds of units for resale. I asked them, hey, can you give me like small MOQ, small minimum order quantity, like if I can just order one or two or five? And they say yes. So I'm gonna keep studying that route to see if we can order the S21 200 terahash at a low quantity. And I will keep it posted in this video channel. I'm gonna do more videos definitely. And I can keep it posted if you come to me by sending me an email or uh, sending me a message by on WhatsApp, Telegram, or Instagram, okay? And I have this contact information all available across the internet, but not those fake contact information. I have all my contact information across my official web page, my official YouTube profile, my official Instagram, everywhere. Make sure you don't contact the wrong Charlie Lin, the fake Charlie Lin. Okay, maybe this is pretty much for today's video. I, I don't know, maybe this video just looked like a lot different than the previous videos that which I did in the past. I don't know, I just feel very excited. Maybe it's because I haven't done videos for so long time and also because I got really infuriated by the scammer, by the impersonators of my and I don't want that to happen again, and I don't want the same thing to happen to anybody else. So that's pretty much for today's video. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.